Hello, thank you for using StreamingChurch.tv for all your streaming needs. My name is Brittany and I'm going to show you how to use FileZilla. So FileZilla is a free FTP software that you can use to transfer files to the on-demand server Streaming Church provides for you. So if you have a recorded video on your hard drive, you can upload it using FTP software and then set it up in your media vault. So to get started, you're going to want to go to filezilla-project.org. That'll take you to this page where you will click the download FileZilla client button. So once you click it and it downloads onto your hard drive, there will be a wizard to walk you through the installation process. And once it's installed, you can open FileZilla like so. On the left side, are the files from your computer. So you can see that I'm in users, my name, that I'm in the movies and videos the folders, and here are the video files that I can move over. So on the right side will be your on-demand server. Right now we're not connected to any server, so we're going to need to set it up. So in order to do so, you'll need your host, your username, and your password, and you will not need the port. So in order to find this information, we're going to go onto the admin panel right here. You can see we're under streaming management, click setup and go to FTP settings. And that'll take you to this page with your credentials. So you have the FTP host, FTP login, FTP password. So these are just demos, but you can select it and just copy them over into FileZilla. And once again, you will not need a port. So once you copy those over, all you need to do is hit quick connect. And now we can see there's a few videos already here, but for you, there will be none there. And all you have to do from here is simply drag and drop. So we're going to just take this video, drag it on over. And there it is. The podcast file has been moved over. And as you saw, the podcast video transferred over pretty quickly, but that's because this video is only a couple minutes long. So if you have a sermon that's, you know, about an hour or so long, don't worry if it takes a couple minutes to transfer over to the on-demand server. You can always check to see if there's any problems in the failed transfer section and then check and see the successful transfers here. You can also, if you would like to download one of the videos from the on-demand server, like let's say we want to get the Phil's test video on our hard drive, you can just do the same thing. So you just click it and drag it on over. And there it is right there. Now to set the video file up on the Media Vault so other people can see it, we're going to go back to the admin panel. And we're going to scroll down to Media Management and click the Media Vault. So right here you can see this select previously recorded uploaded media. So we're going to go ahead and click that because that is where our video file will be. It is a streaming video file, so it's an MP4. If we can continue. Now it's accessing our on-demand server where we just put that video file. And look, it's it's right here since it's the one that we just put in there. So there's my podcast file. I'm going to select it. And now it's right here, ready to be put into the Media Vault. So I can give a specific sermon title. I can choose if it's going to be in any folders and put the date, description, everything, anything like that and then add it. And once you add the file, you'll be able to scroll down and see it here in this view of your Media Vault. Your Media Vault only looks this way to you so that you can you know, edit or delete any media. Um, to see what it would look like for your visitors, you can click on these buttons here to look at the different views. I should also mention that it takes about two to three minutes for the file to process from the FileZilla upload on demand before it'll appear when, when you click this button. So give it a couple minutes and check back if it doesn't immediately appear. 
So there you go. That is how you use FileZilla to upload a video file to your on-demand server and then put it into your media vault. If you have any questions about this or anything else, you can email us at support at streamingchurch.tv. Thanks.